There aren't any foods that burn fat on their own, but there are specific foods that alter our metabolism that make fat loss easier. And today we're going through 10 of the most science-backed foods that support fat loss. We're talking about nutri genetics and nutrigenomics, looking at how our food is altering our gene expression. This is an incredibly special episode. Today is the national release of the Eat Smarter Family Cookbook, now available at bookstores everywhere. This is an incredibly powerful culmination. It's been a labor of love, to say the least, of science and a love of food. And on this episode, we're gonna be diving into 10 of the most science-backed foods that help with fat loss. And more importantly, how to actually use them. All of the science that we're going through today is featured in the Eat Smarter Family Cookbook. It is a cookbook like none other. Not only does it have 100 delicious, easy to make recipes, but it is also the first cookbook that has over 250 scientific references and it's laid out in a beautiful, entertaining, engaging, and fun way so that everybody can understand this science. And it's one thing to know why these foods matter, but it's another thing to actually make them into delicious meals. And so that's what we're blending together. So please, if you have not done so already, run out to your favorite bookstore, grab your copy, help to be a part of this movement. And of course, you can pick this up from Amazon, Barnes & Noble, any of your favorite bookstores online, but be a part of this movement right now. And let's go ahead and dive into these 10 fat burning foods and how to use them. But this is an important caveat before we get started. There aren't any foods that burn fat on their own, but there are specific foods that alter our metabolism that make fat loss easier. That is the goal, that is the mission. Today we're going through 10 of the most science-backed foods that support fat loss. Starting with the first one on our list, avocados. A randomized controlled trial cited in the journal Current Developments in Nutrition found that adding avocado to the diet of test subjects over the course of a three month study period led to a significant reduction in abdominal fat. So eating avocados helped the test subjects to lose more belly fat. Another recent study, this one published in the journal Nutrients, had study participants replace some of their dietary carbohydrates with some avocado instead. After analyzing their biomarkers, the scientists found that calorie for calorie, Adding in some avocado improved their blood glucose levels, increased levels of satiety hormones, PYY, it's a pretty young thing, this is peptide YY, and GLP-1, and improved overall levels of subjective satisfaction for the test subjects and reduced their hunger for longer periods of time. There's something special about that wrinkly skinned fruit and isn't it interesting how a high fat food can become so beneficial for fat loss? This speaks to this profound but misunderstood fact that fat in food and fat on our bodies are two completely different things. But it gets confused because of semantics, all right, the meaning of words. But this is very similar to a phenomenon with a word like bat, right? So there's a bat that is used in a sport to hit a baseball, and there's also a bat that can allegedly cause a pandemic, all right? There's two totally different things when we're talking about a bat. So the same thing holds true for fat. Fat in food and fat on our bodies are two totally different things, but because of semantics and because of marketing, we've been led to believe as a culture that eating fat in food is inherently bad for your waistline. Now there's also a key distinction because the fat found in ultra processed foods is very different from the fat found in real whole foods in its natural state like a natural fatty thick avocado. All right, now there's one thing to know about the power of an avocado and to be able to, some people just like to just eat the avocado straight, maybe dab a little salt on it or something like that. But what if we can turn this into an absolutely amazing food experience? 
take that avocado and turn it into something truly special. Well, this is what we do in the Eat Smarter Family Cookbook. You learn about the science and these benefits so that you can eat for a purpose. If your purpose is improving your metabolic health and helping your body to be able to burn fat more efficiently, I've got you covered. And there are little emojis that indicate the benefits. So if a particular food, if we've got some signs indicating its benefit for cardiovascular health, you're going to see a little heart emoji next to it. You're going to see the muscle emoji for the metabolic health. You're going to see a little sleep emoji if it helps to improve sleep quality. The list goes on and on. So you'll see those emojis because we have an emoji culture. So I'm speaking that language, all right, because everybody's invited to this party. So you'll see that in the chapter that's dedicated to eating for a purpose. And these 40 plus foods that are most science backed foods for improving our health. Now you're going to go to the recipe section and you're going to see those same emojis when these foods are included. So you know that this recipe is going to help with my heart health. It's going to help with my metabolic health. It's going to help with my sleep quality. It's going to help with my mental health and my mood. We've got the signs on all that as well. Now, using this avocado, we've got some incredible recipes that we've perfected. One of them is avocado fries. Avocado fries. They are incredible. With that being said, if you're watching the video version of this episode, you're going to see some of these recipes on screen. Are right, you going to see the sexiness of these recipes and how beautiful they are, but we're big foodies in my family and we're all about taste and flavor and enjoying the experience of eating good food because this is something that we evolved doing. Humans are driven to eat things that taste good to us just like every other species. That's why certain animals eat certain things. Yes, food scientists have manipulated our desire to eat tasty things, but this does not negate that there's nothing wrong with loving food, enjoying food, and enjoying the process of eating together with the people that you care about, which the Eat Smarter Family Cookbook is very rich in that science as well, looking at social science and how our relationships and our family and eating together with people that we care about impacts our health outcomes. So we're going to see the avocado and its fat burning potential in avocado fries, the smarter Cobb salad, and also it's highlighted in this speedy superfood guacamole this guacamole is different it's gonna knock your socks off i promise you so that is our first food of the 10 most notable fat burning foods and how to use them moving on to number two number two is almonds a study cited in the journal of research and medical sciences put study participants on matching reduced calorie diets for three months with one interesting difference one group included almonds in their diet while the other group did not after the data was compiled at the end of the study the folks who included almonds in their diet lost twice as much weight and had a greater reduction in their hip to waist ratio than those in the almond free group almonds are truly special the researchers noted also that there was a greater improvement in insulin sensitivity and satiety hormones in the almond group. Again, putting people on matching calorie diets, but having almonds in the diet within those calories did something remarkable for the metabolism. That's what this is all about when looking at these fat burning foods. It's not about the food itself burning fat. It's altering our metabolism in a beneficial way. How do we highlight almonds in the Eat Smarter Family Cookbook? Just a couple of the ways are the smarter granola bars that we have in the book that kids absolutely love. Also, one of my favorite things just, just to snack on in general is the smoky, spicy mixed nuts. So those are just a couple of the recipes that highlight almonds. So these are cool ways in any of these things we can actually do ourselves we could take these foods and utilize them in cool recipes and enjoy the process of getting well are right, you going to move on to number three on our list of these top 10 fat loss foods and how to use them number three and this food doesn't get a lot of love on the streets because its cousin gets all the love a lot of people know about the benefits of fatty fish but lean fish is on this list at number three. 
A study published in the Journal of Nutrition found that the inclusion of white fish or lean fish helps to optimize satiety hormones and can be significantly more satisfying, literally looking at people's objective biomarkers satiating than other dense protein foods. Another study published in the International Journal of Obesity put test subjects on a reduced calorie diet that included either cod, lean fish, salmon, fatty fish, or no fish. Even though the macronutrient content of all the diets was the same, simply including three five ounce servings of fish per week resulted in study participants losing over two additional pounds within four weeks. Again, same amount of calories, same macronutrient ratio, but including fish did something extra for their metabolism. There's something about it. Now, this is one of those foods that can become the run of the mill. You got some grilled tilapia. You got a little grilled white fish. It could be a little boring. A couple of our favorite recipes in the East Smarter Family Cookbook, the sheet pan fish with mayo lemon sauce. Oh, it's good. It's good. It's good. Also, We've got a great dish, the white fish with kelp butter. So including some other beneficial superfoods that really help with supporting metabolic health and fat loss that we're gonna get to in a moment in the form of kelp and sea veggies. So lots of good stuff here in this recipe. And this is one of the other things that we do. We stack conditions, we combine beneficial foods that again are backed by science. Multiple peer-reviewed studies, all right? There's over 250 peer-reviewed studies, again, included in this book, and what does the majority of data say? And the most special foods are the ones that are included in many of these recipes. So we're gonna move on to number four on our list. Number four is cherries. According to data published in the International Journal of Food Sciences and Nutrition, micronutrients called anthocyanins found in cherries have the potential to shrink fat cells. The researchers also noted that these cherry anthocyanins are able to reduce the expression of genes associated with inflammation. We're talking about nutrigenetics and nutrigenomics here, looking at how our food is altering our gene expression. And cherries, and the nutrients found in cherries have some remarkable influence on healthy gene expression that reduces inflammation in the body. When we're looking at carrying excess weight or venturing into obesity, we're reaching a state where our fat cells are essentially experiencing a state of inflammation. And this can send our immune system into a tizzy, essentially feeling or operating as though our cells are infected by carrying so much excess energy in them. You know, again, something that we did not evolve with. So we've got to address the inflammation, not just targeting the reduction of fat itself or shrinking those fat cells, we've got to address the inflammation and cherries appear to hit on both of those notes. So really special food, but I'm not talking about the cherry that's coming along in a cocktail, all right? And not in the cocktail. I'm not talking about those cherries or my grandfather used to get these chocolate covered cherries. That was his little quote, guilty pleasure. Those, those candy type cherries. We're talking about tart cherries and also varieties of sweet cherries as well. But as I said, the blacker the berry, the sweeter the juice, all right? The darker the cherry, the more anthocyanin. So we want those dark cherries. How do we use cherries in the Eat Smarter Family Cookbook? One of my favorite recipes, I have this shake most often actually right now, it's one of my favorite things, is the heart health smoothie. And you're gonna see why it is delicious and packed with incredible nutrients. Also, the cherry frozen yogurt pops. You gotta make these. The kids love them. The kids absolutely love these. The cherry frozen yogurt pops. These are fun to make together with your kids, and they can be on hand in your freezer for whenever you're having a hankering for something sweet, and in particular, a frozen treat. All right, gonna move on to number five on a list of 10 fat loss foods backed by peer-reviewed data. Number five is turmeric. 
turmeric. Now we often think about turmeric in the context of a spice. And yes, it absolutely is a spice, but turmeric is in the ginger family and it can be utilized in different dishes. And there are even people juicing turmeric out here. So there's many different juices, different combinations of juices that are utilizing turmeric because of all the benefits that are showing up in science today. But most notably, again, turmeric is used as a concentrated spice often found in our spice cabinets. But the question is, are we actually using it? So what does some of the science say? First of all, of course, we know about turmeric's ability to reduce inflammation. For example, scientists at the Department of Neurology at USC found that one of the active ingredients in turmeric, curcumin, is able to help eliminate amyloid plaque and slow down the aging of our neurons, excavate heavy metals, and reduce inflammation in our brains. Crazy, crazy. Why does this matter? Neuroinflammation, namely inflammation in the hypothalamus or hypothalamic inflammation, and this is according to researchers at the Albert Einstein College of Medicine, they found that hypothalamic inflammation or inflammation in the brain leads to more downstream accumulation of belly fat and insulin resistance. And then that insulin resistance and belly fat accumulation leads to more inflammation in the brain. We get into this vicious circle and certain foods and nutrients and certain spices like turmeric can come in here and break that vicious cycle and help to reduce inflammation. Another study published in the European Journal of Nutrition uncovered that compounds in turmeric can downregulate inflammatory cytokines and upregulate the activity of adiponectin and other satiety related hormones. All right, so turmeric can actually target our satiety hormones. And additional data demonstrated that turmeric can also improve insulin sensitivity, reduce blood fats, and directly act upon fat cells. Really cool stuff, really powerful. But the question is are we utilizing turmeric? to the best of its ability. A couple of the recipes that include turmeric in the Eat Smarter Family Cookbook, a couple of my favorites are the turmeric sheet pan chicken with sweet potatoes and chickpeas, all right? Beautiful dish. And also the sauteed curry cabbage, the slow cooker chicken curry. If you're in a hurry, slow down and have some chicken curry, all right? So wholesome, so delicious, one of the staples in my family's kitchen we love the slow cooker chicken curry and i know you will as well so lots of cool ways that we can integrate and add in some turmeric but also sometimes the concentration makes all the difference so if you're really wanting to target some of these metabolic benefits and in particular helping to reduce inflammation this is a place where you might want to supplement as well and i'm a big fan of the turmeric complex the organic turmeric complex that has all these other incredible biopotentiators so your cells can use it better that is carried by the incredible folks at Paleo Valley. Paleo Valley goes above and beyond. They've been a huge supporter of the Eat Smarter Family Cookbook as well and doing some incredible giveaways for folks and just like just incredible people. Truly do appreciate them. Check out their turmeric complex. And by the way, you get 15% off when you go to paleovalley.com forward slash model. That's P-A-L-E-O-V-A-L-L-E-Y.com forward slash model. You get 15% off store wide. Highly recommend checking out their turmeric complex. This is one of the things, at least on a weekly basis, I'm utilizing the turmeric complex. So big fan of that. Check them out, paleovalley.com forward slash model. Now let's move on to number six on our list of the most science-backed foods for fat loss, our top 10. Number six on the list is the incredible edible egg. Researchers at St. Louis University, and this was published in the International Journal of Obesity, by the way, sought to discover what happens with fat loss when you eat a high carbohydrate breakfast, which was in the form of a bagel, versus a high protein slash fat whole food breakfast in the form of eggs with the calorie count of the meals being the same. The meals are the same amount of calories, but different foods. The researchers did have the study participants decrease their overall caloric intake by 1000 calories a day in the study, 
but had different people use different macronutrient ratios for their first meal through different foods. Here's what they found after the eight week study period. The study participants eating the egg breakfast lost 61% more of their body mass index. They had a 65% greater weight loss, a 34% greater reduction in waist circumference, and a 16% greater reduction in actual body fat percentage. Come on now. This is, again, calorie for calorie. There's something remarkable that eggs do for our metabolism. That's why this food is so special. And that's why it makes this list for us. Yeah, we can scramble up some eggs. That's cool. You can flip them over, over easy, poach them. Many different diverse ways to use eggs. I'm going to let, I'm going to let you feel these gains. All right, go on and on and on with the different typical ways, standard ways of eating eggs. Hard boil them, many different ways. But for me, one of my favorite dishes is a Southwest chorizo scramble in the new Eat Smarter Family Cookbook. You're going to love that one. Also, we have an incredible asparagus and olive frittata. A frittata. I didn't come from the frittata life, all right? I didn't grow up like that. But being able to have these incredible flavor experiences and being able to use familiar foods in new and delicious ways, that's what it's all about. And also the quick and easy deviled eggs, I think you're going to really love as well. So let's move on to number seven on our list of the most science-backed foods that support fat loss. Number seven is sea veggies. Sea veggies aka seaweeds, aka sea vegetables, are one of the most nutritious, truly wild foods that still exist today. Now, research cited in the journal Food Science and Human Wellness asserts that seaweeds have anti-obesity effects that can improve metabolic rate and increase satiety. Specifically, the seaweed carotenoid called fucoxanthin was found to boost the activity of uncoupling protein one that enhances the activity of brown adipose tissue. This is a type of fat that burns fat. While this nutrient simultaneously supports the reduction of belly fat from our waistline. That's special. Not many foods ever discovered have this kind of action in the human body. So I'm a big fan of sea veggies. I've had so many. There's literally hundreds of different varieties of sea veggies, by the way. And it's one of the most storied human foods. Cultures all over the world have utilized sea veggies for food, for celebration, for making things. There's so many different diverse ways that humans have utilized sea vegetables. There's wakame, there's nori, there's dulse, there's kelp. There's sea palm, the list goes on and on and on. One of my favorite ways, and one of the most popular ways actually, are nori rolls, often used for varieties of sushi. Now, something else special about the Eat Smarter Family Cookbook is that this is a cookbook that is family friendly. This is a cookbook that is inclusive of everyone. Everybody's invited to the dinner. Everybody's invited to the table regardless of their diet framework. So there are wonderful people who are taking a vegan or vegetarian approach. Other folks are taking a keto, paleo, carnivore. The list goes on and on and on. There's something for everyone here. Nobody is left out. And one of the most delicious foods that I, I mean, I had no idea that it would actually turn out like this. That This goes back years and years. And I had to put this into this recipe book because I used to teach cooking classes and sometimes we would quote uncook and be able to use things like walnuts and make like a pate and find a way that it ended up tasting like salmon. And so the faux salmon nori wraps is one of the recipes that's included in the Eat Smarter Family Cookbook. I'm telling you, it's going to trip you out how delicious this recipe is, but also how much it tastes like a salmon nori roll as well. And so again, we're just inviting people in. 
being inclusive. This is a vegan dish, but also absolutely focusing on top tier, nutrient dense, science backed foods for our health. One of those other ones is walnuts, by the way, and you'll learn about some of the science on walnuts in the East Mortar Family Cookbook. But the faux salmon nori wraps is one way to utilize the sea veggies. Another one is the mushroom fried rice, which is fire, fire. So good. If you're watching on the YouTube version, you get to see, again, some of these incredible recipes. And this is another absolute hitter. All right, moving on to number eight on our list of the most science-backed foods for supporting fat loss. Number eight is kimchi. While working at a university for many years, I got to work with people from all over the world. And one of the things that I began to accumulate knowledge on was how every culture had a cultured food. Every person from a different country had some form of a fermented, traditional fermented food as a part, as a staple in their culture. And so I was just like, that is so interesting. Why do humans do this? Why have humans been doing this for so long? There's something remarkable about these fermented foods. And kimchi is one of the most renowned. Check this out. A peer-reviewed study published in the journal Nutrition Research found that eating kimchi led to a significant decrease in body fat, hip-to-waist ratio, and fasting blood sugar for study participants versus those who merely ate the unfermented form of that cabbage dish. So they took all the ingredients that go into making kimchi, right? The cabbage, the daikon radish, whatever they might be. They ate that, that, or they ate the fermented version of that. And when it was fermented, that's when the metabolic magic happened. All right, so kimchi is that deal. How do we utilize kimchi in some delicious ways? This is one of the inclusions in the faux salmon nori wraps. All right, we're intentional in these recipe designs. Also, the kimchi cauliflower bowl. Ooh, it's good too. It's good too. So kimchi, just as on, on its own accord, might not be something that's super attractive. How can we make it attractive? How can we make it delicious? That's what I would meditate on, focus on, and find creative ways so that we can get these amazing foods into our bodies and enjoy the process. Enjoy the process of eating well and being well. Moving on to number nine on our list of 10 of the most science-backed foods that support fat loss. Number nine is sweet potatoes. A recent study published in the journal Nutrients specifically analyzed the inclusion of sweet potatoes on a macro-managed, calorie-restricted diet. The participants who included sweet potato as part of their diet lost more weight and lost more body fat than the control group. Plus, the sweet potato group had a greater drop in glycated hemoglobin levels as hemoglobin A1C, a marker for risk of insulin resistance and diabetes. So poor metabolic health. That's special. And sweet potatoes are out here on the streets. Sweet potatoes are out here heavy. If you're in the know and you're about that sweet potato life, you know, a lot of folks are, of course, just baking up a sweet potato, maybe mashing, smashing, that kind of stuff, really basic stuff. But what we did, oh, you're gonna love this. You're gonna love this. My family, big fans of brunch foods, Sweet potato protein pancakes. Yes, yes. Sweet potato protein pancakes, one of our favorite recipes. And this is something that obviously kids love. And it's one of those things that you could make a batch, you could freeze them up, reheat for your kids' breakfast, that kind of thing. Higher protein ratio. And again, intentionally so we can lower that glycemic impact, but also just the fact that this is the base as sweet potato versus a conglomeration of different grains that don't really have those kind of nutritive factors to help to keep blood sugar normalized. That's what makes it so special, right? So it's intentional. Also, the sweet potato and red pepper hash with avocado is amazing. We got a sweet potato pie smoothie. We just, I had to do it. I had to do it. I'm from the sweet potato culture. All right, it's where I come from. So having the sweet potato pie smoothie is a little 
wink to you know the delicious sweet potato pie vibes that i grew up with but of course incredibly nutrient dense real food based and also one of my favorite meals in the book actually is the harvest bowl with honey mustard all right so that includes some sweet potatoes as well so the harvest bowl and uh, actually that's what i'm holding on the cover of the book is the harvest bowl a little shout out to that so that recipe is so special again it ended up on the front cover and me holding the harvest bowl with honey mustard all right we're at number 10 on our list of 10 of the most science-backed foods for supporting fat loss and this one is special this one has been utilized for thousands of years and our ancestors knew that there was something remarkable about it and it's not just the food itself but it's how it's used that can make all the difference in the world and number 10 is olive oil a recent study cited in the american journal of clinical nutrition revealed that consuming olive oil a little more than a tablespoon triggered the release of not one but three of the major satiety hormones associated with enhanced fat loss a separate double blind placebo controlled trial had overweight test subjects consume a breakfast that contained about one and a half tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil or one and a half tablespoons of soybean oil as part of an overall reduced calorie diet at the end of the study they found that test subjects given the extra virgin olive oil lost 80 percent more body fat 80 percent more body fat than the folks that were given the soybean oil now we know that the soybean oil itself might be causing some hormonal clogs and you're going to learn about certain food contagions in the eat smarter family cookbook as well to protect your family from but on the other end of the spectrum really remarkable things happened with metabolic health when including olive oil inside the eat smarter family cookbook olive oil is used in a variety of recipes and notably for cooking purposes but more notably for making amazing dressings and sauces so you can actually maximize the benefits of that extra virgin olive oil that means it's cold processed cold pressed traditionally stored in dark glass because it is sensitive to heat sensitive to even light it's the more sensitive it's the ralph tresvant of the group of oils the new edition of oils out there all right it is the most sensitive and in particular you're going to love the italian dressing oh we've been making that for man it's been over a decade now it's one of our favorite dressings so good the smarter honey mustard dressing and also the superfood pesto is going to literally knock your socks off make sure your socks are pulled on and secured all right listen this is very special and i appreciate you so much for being on this journey with me we've been doing the model health show now for over 10 years over a decade of my life and thousands upon thousands of hours in study in preparation in filming and recording and teaching and this is my third major book and coming from where I come from, growing up in St. Louis and spending a lot of time with my family in East St. Louis and on the South Side, North Side, and living in Ferguson, Missouri for a huge chunk of my life and being in a glorified food desert and some environments that were very volatile and did not really have any exposure to anything that really resembled anything healthy. There weren't any gyms in my local area is just riddled with ultra processed food and fast food and really just taking advantage of the citizens and i just didn't know that there was a difference and so coming from where i come from and to be able to have a book that's on store shelves around the country is really special to me and the fact that this is about family and the person who really introduced me to cooking was my stepfather and he was a executive chef and he passed away right before this book came out and um you know being in that environment growing up during uh, an epidemic of drugs and you know him and his family members many of my family members being afflicted with addiction and battling those things and um, having some injuries to his brain he was on assisted living in uh, assisted living community for 
many years. And so this is so special to me because I'm on a mission to transform family culture and to help our families to feel empowered and to focus on changing the microculture inside of our households so that health can be automatic, so that healthy choices can be automatic rather than be a struggle. Because number one, we didn't know that there was a difference. My family and I, we didn't know that there was a difference in food qualities and how they impact our bodies. We were just eating what was in our environment. So awareness was part of it, but also accessibility because the culture, if it's surrounding you by things that are hurting you, and those are the only options you know, that's what you're gonna go to. So making it easy to make healthy choices, making it fun, making it so that it is a celebration, that's what this is all about. So truly, if the Model Health Show has been of value to you, I ask you from my heart to yours to go to your local bookstore right now or go to amazon.com, go to Barnes & Noble, get your copy of the Eat Smarter Family Cookbook. If you've already gotten a copy, Get a copy for somebody that you love. Give it as a gift. Make sure that these publishers, that these stores know that we mean business, that we're here to stand up for our families. Thank you for being on this mission with me. We're just getting started. I appreciate you. Thank you for seeing me. Thank you for being a part of this. And again, let's make this a movement. Run out, grab a copy, get a copy for somebody that you care about. We're going to create a tipping point. We're going to make health normal. Hey, if you like this video, make sure to check out this video right here to uplevel your health today. I wanted to find, is there any real world, hardcore peer reviewed evidence to affirm that just because this food might look like a human body part, does it actually benefit that human body part? And the data that I have is going to blow your mind.